Let's start by asking a very simple question. What is modern portfolio theory? The cornerstone of investment management today is based upon modern portfolio theory. Now, this is taught in all business schools and followed by the majority of investors. In fact, it's the dominant theology, if you like, of modern finance. So what is it? In March 1952, a University of Chicago graduate student, Harry Markowitz, published a short article in the Journal of Finance entitled Portfolio Selection. Markowitz's premise was simple. Risk and return are inextricably linked. From his economist's perspective, he believed that it was possible to work out the connection between the two mathematically – and, just as importantly, to a validly, a validly statistical degree, thereby determining the level of risk that would be required for various levels of return. In his paper, he argued that no investor can achieve above-average gains without assuming above-average risk. To explain his concept, Markowitz drew a trade-off graph with return on one axis and risk on the other. The efficient frontier is the line drawn from bottom left to top right, which you can see here. The most efficient portfolio is one that gives the highest rate of return for a given level of risk. Investment managers' challenge was to match portfolios to an investor's level of risk while avoiding inefficient portfolios. In 1959, Markowitz published his book, Portfolio Selection, Efficient Diversification of Investment. Based on his original PhD dissertation, he used standard deviation as a measure of risk. He argued that the greater the distance from the average, the greater the risk. In order to measure this for a whole portfolio of stocks, Markowitz introduced the concept of covariance, based on the established formula for the variance of the weighted sum of all variances in a portfolio. Covariance measures the direction of a group of stocks. So two stocks have high covariance when their prices move, for whatever reason, in the same direction. And they have low covariance when, they have, uh, when the stock prices move in opposite directions. The critical issue in a portfolio is to have a blend of stocks whose share prices move differently, regardless of the relative riskiness of the individual stocks. In order to apply this theory in practice, it was necessary to calculate endless covariance calculations, which was problematic in the days before computing. When Markowitz's book came out, it was like his original paper, broadly ignored by investment professionals. This is in the early 60s. But what came next was to change thinking on the management of risk, and that is what we're going to take a look at in the next lecture. So modern portfolio theory has its, its foundations in the work done by Harry Markowitz and the way he looks at risk in portfolios. And as you see, the uh, various steps um, that comprise modern portfolio theory are built up by taking the work of a series of people. And in the next one, we're going to take a look at um, risk.